The Viafreeze is a liquid nitrogen free controlled rate freezer for the cryopreservation of cellular products. Aluminum plates designed to fit cryo bags or cryo vials are inserted and they can be custom made to fit a variety of configurations. To operate, simply load your material into the plate and load it onto the magnetic panel inside the freezer. We're looking at the Viafreeze quad, which as you can see has four freezing panels. The other sizes are the Viafreeze, which will have one panel, or the Viafreeze Duo, which will have two. To initiate the freezing, you'll take your cassette and place it on one of the panels, and you'll see this pop up. To take that panel out after freezing, you'll click the button here and release your panel. On the back of the Viafreeze quad freezer, there are eight thermocouple ports. Viafreeze Duo each have four ports. These thermocouples can be used to capture data directly from your samples. If you have a large cryo bag, like so, place the bag into the instrument on a large plate covering all four panels. To begin, turn on the device and access the home menu. From the home menu, by selecting the system manager button, you can either create a new protocol or edit an existing protocol. If you start creating a new protocol, the page allows entering the title and description and shows the protocol segments. You can add a new segment, delete, or edit an existing one. When done, make sure you click Save. We're not going to show that today because we're not creating a new protocol. From the system menu, by selecting Edit Protocol, you can modify the protocols already created. Access each segment, which can then be deleted, modified, or you can add a new one. Ensure you click Save to register your changes. It's recommended to pre-cool the product to 4 degrees C before starting your freeze. This pre-cool segment can be added when creating your protocol. From the home menu, click on Select and Run Protocol, and it will show you all the protocols previously created. For example, today we're going to use the default protocol. Once we select this protocol, there will be the option to input information pertaining to your samples. You can verify the characteristics of each segment by referencing the inspect protocol information located under the record details. Load the plate with the product, close the lid, and click start to launch the process. Once the procedure is completed, simply remove your samples from the VIA freezer. The units are ready to either transfer to long-term storage or to send out for logistical shipping. You can access the cryo records on the device by exporting them to a USB stick or via my cryo chain. For cell banking applications, the Viafreeze instrument has the capability to freeze core blood in smaller quantities by using the vertical rack system with a foam lid insert.